Williams, two that close the night for us. Yeah. Okay, this is bout number 10. And if Got I it? got everything right now, this should be uh, Ahmed Saleh versus Garrett Ferguson. Yeah, that's what I have. So let's see. We got, and they are in that senior novice 141 pound There place. you go. It seems to be getting a lot of play tonight. Boxing fans, bout number 10 is a 141 pound senior novice division bout. First, boxing out of the ring for representing the Buckley Fight Club. Put your hands together for Derek Ferguson. Derek Ferguson out of the red corner. Ahmed Saleh. Well, now, here's what you got. Ferguson is out of Oakley, but if you look in the corner of Saleh, who's unattached, there are a couple Oakley trainers, so these guys may be sparring partners. These, these guys may have seen each other before, but they both come out of the Oakley gym. And Ferguson's a southpaw. certain fighters it's interesting because these are senior novices also but, but and I'm talking about this uh, Ahmed Saleh in the uh, in the red trunks but in the blue corner tonight it, it, he moves around the ring and he's got a certain ringsmanship about him and he's real loose and he, he's, he's real efficient now he's on the inside he's going to work now he backs off he's, he's, his head's moving nicely he's not taking anything he's rolling with the shots But yet he's a senior novice, so he apparently has less than 10 fights. Just looks like he's in real good control. Good defensive skills, too. Ferguson looks like the stronger of the two. But Soleil is moving really nice. Mm -hmm. It's a good opening round for uh, Ahmed Soleil. Well, Soleil looks, look how he's. Uh, Laying back there, he looks tired, but maybe that's just the position they want him to be in. I think he's just really relaxed. Mm -hmm. He's real loose. And Ferguson didn't have a bad round, but uh, Soleil just looked like he was in complete control of everything, and he was he was slipping a lot of punches. Let's see what uh, round two looks like after they both got a little, couple words from their corner. Ferguson's on the inside. He's got to he's got to move the hands. He's got to pay off in there. That's his fight. That's where he's got to go to work. This Amit Saleh is really a beautiful boxer. 
looks good on the outside, and he looks pretty good on the inside, and he's, he's certainly not built to be an inside fighter. I mean, he's, he's very, very thin, tall and thin, but he's certainly not shy to lay inside, and, and he looks very comfortable in there, and he's, he's working up and down. Well, he seems to be controlling this fight because yeah. his opponent hasn't been able to really launch anything. And then Corrin punches into his opponent on the ropes. He's going to go standing eight. And that standing eight wasn't really due to one punch, I don't think. I, I, I think the ref wants to take a look at uh, Ferguson because Salih is piling up some punches on him here. Slay doesn't appear to have great power though, but his hands move real nice and he puts his punches together. So instead of unloading a, a big right hand or a big bomb with the left hook, he's taking threes and fours, but he, he's very okay. accurate. He's, hitting he's with punching everything. in there, yeah. yeah. His opponent's not doing it. There's a left hand by Slay again. Slay's very slippery. His opponent hasn't scored with anything. So he's, a, he's a little confused. He hasn't been able to really to, 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 to pin him down and, and, and land anything nice and flush. Mm -hmm. You know, when Ferguson is hitting him on the arms, though, and, he, and, he, and, he, and he's forcing Soleil to, to not slip punches but take him, you see the power of Ferguson. Ferguson just has to get through that defense, and he has to put something, you know, in in a scoring situation where, where he can connect with, with some nice, meaningful shots here. But up, up to this point, he's... He's getting a little outmaneuvered, and, and it looks a little outfoxed here. And, and, and Soleil just looks a little too, little too slippery for him here. And the third and final round in a fight that looks like uh, Ahmed Soleil's pretty much in control of. Ferguson needs a huge round here. I think it starts from cutting the ring. If he can cut the ring and put him on the ropes, put him in the corner, and turn this into an inside banging set, that, that, that's what he wants to do. He's, he's not going to win this fight from the outside, that's for sure. There's some handsome hands. punches by both sides here. It's interesting that Soleil came out the aggressor. He's nursing the lead. Sure, Ferguson's a little surprised. We all are here. <laughs> and of course, this is another one of those 141 pound senior novices. So yeah. This is really going to turn out to be a, 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 a great uh, division and in, 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 in a good battle here. Look at all those punches. He's going to give him a standing eight here. And that's not because anything mean, meaningful got through, but he just took, took too many punches. Yeah. He didn't yeah. throw anything back. And, yeah. And he's got to watch himself. He's, he can't just go into cover up here because he's in the last round. Yeah. He's, he risks getting stopped if, if, if that happens again. So Lee's still scoring, though. Looks so he's not moving much. I gotta say, just from looking at this, and I don't know how they check how many fights a guy has, but are you telling me Ahmed Saleh has less than 10 <laughs> fights? <laughs> This look guy at looks, that uppercut oh, by him. Oh. Look at nice straight right hand, those combinations. Look at the head movement. Look at the rolling. This yeah. Is, are, are you saying he has less than 10 fights? Because I don't think so. <laughs> he might have less than 10 fights in Illinois. <laughs> Bam. Bam. That, that's not a senior novice fighter. But look at this 141-pound senior novice class. There's been three or four of these guys that don't look like they're senior novice. Yeah, right. 
Now, in the 141-pound open class, you have last year's champion, Evan Perot from Brooks Park, who is returning this year. And are you telling me all these guys are senior novices, or are they just guys that don't want to fight Evan Perot? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, yeah this good is, point. Uh, yeah. The, 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 that's not a senior novice there. This guy is putting on a clinic. your winner, add him to the pile of 141 pound senior novices, which currently includes Devante McPherson, Mario Diaz, and Gerardo Trejo, who we've all seen look extremely impressive tonight. And I gotta tell you something, for senior novices, this is an exciting division.